Hi, my name is Robin Murphy and I'm the school counselor at Northside Elementary in Johnson City. I'd like to talk to you today about some coping skills that you can use to continue to deal with the COVID-19 crisis. I know it seems like it's been going on forever and we're all frustrated and ready for it to be over, but if we continue to use coping skills, we will get through it effectively. So whether you are an adult watching this video or a student, I hope today that you can find something to use um, that will help you get through your frustrated emotions and feelings that you're going through. Um, I know uh, working in the elementary school, a lot of times we see anxiety and worry uh, manifest itself in students through their behavior. Maybe they're irritable, maybe they're moodier than normal, fidgety, um, maybe unable to focus on the task at hand. So being able to recognize those things um, can help us offer students um, and kids strategies to use. So some of the things that I think are important, uh, some coping skills that I like to use, um, maybe finding, well, the first one, the most important one is finding a trusted adult or person to talk to. Um, you know, we might not be able to name these big feelings that we're having, um, but talking to someone, just letting them know that you're feeling sad or lonely or frustrated can really help when we're going through a tough time. So use a video chat, call up your grandma or somebody that you love um, and see if you can just hang out with them via video chat, talk to them. Uh, maybe you have a trusted friend or family member that you can call. So really making connections when we're during this time we're really feeling isolated is important. The second thing we need to focus on is staying busy. Keeping our minds busy is important um, so that we don't focus on all the negativity that we're hearing and seeing. Uh, turn off the TV, go for a walk, cook something, uh, read a book, do art, um, anything that can keep you your mind busy and keep something that you enjoy. Take up a new hobby. Um, it's really important to focus on those things. One of the best things that you can do to stay busy is physical activity. As a former physical education teacher uh, turned school counselor, um, physical activity is so important. It releases those feel-good hormones um, that can make you, can, that can help de-stress. So make sure you are getting moving. Take a brain break from those computers. Um, don't just spend all your time playing your favorite video game to stay busy. Make sure you are getting up and moving around. It makes your whole body feel better. Um, get, just go outside and walk around in your yard or in front of your house if you can. Um, take a grown up. Maybe you can have a good conversation with someone in your home while you're going on a walk. So really stay moving during this time too. The last thing I think is really important is to keep a schedule or a to-do list each day. A schedule can make you feel like you have accomplished things and that's a really important feeling um, when you're going through a frustrating or anxious time. A to-do list, uh, again, makes you feel accomplished. So when you have a schedule, get up at the same time every day, um, try to eat at the same time every day, you know, you have your Zoom meetings or hybrid schedule um, students maybe watching this. Really keep a routine and that can keep your yourself focused, uh, keep your mind focused, and um, that can help with dealing with anxiety that you might be feeling. So have control over those things that you can have control over. Um, I hope that a few of these things help. Remember when you need to talk to someone, the counselors have um, their phone numbers listed. Reach out to any of us. Um, even if I'm not your, your school counselor, feel free to reach out to me. Just having someone to talk to is important to get through this tough time. But we will get through it. We'll get through it together. We're going to keep our positive mindset and um, hopefully it will be over very soon. I hope you all stay safe and stay positive. Have a great day.